All right, what we got here is a uh, clear cedar deck built uh, about a month and a half ago here. I figured I'd get a picture of it. Uh, we'll take a look at this underside first. We've got uh, all ACQ treated lumber. We've got some four by tens here sitting on some uh, four by sixes. Got a plinth base down there in the corner in the dirt we put. Um, Right here on the existing patio, we've got some Z-Max uh, brackets. Some hurricane straps of all different sorts. Uh, let's see, so what we got under here is the 4x4 handrail posts framed in. Uh, we lagged through the rim, get into that 4x4, framed it, stiffened it up, nice and stout. Uh, the main deck here is 2x8s on hangers against a ledger board that we lagged into the rim of the house. Again, we've got 2x8, 16 on center. We bump over here where the deck gets a little bit longer off of the house. Bumped it up to uh, 12 inch on center spacing. Over here is the underside of the stairs. We've got 2x12 sistered on both sides we've got two by fours to stiffen that up give us a little extra support and we've got people walking up and down the deck maybe two three people at a time so nothing too fancy underneath here just uh try to give a quick look at this framework straightforward underneath here uh let's see the stairs We've got uh, 2 by 12 with the 2 by 4 at the bottom. Uh, 2 by 14 wasn't an option for 35 bucks milled to be a $450 piece or so just to get that trim piece for the stairs. But we wanted to pay attention to the detail where the stairs run into the exterior uh, fascia. So here's a close-up of the balusters and handrail. We just used uh, Decorator brand balusters. You can get them at Lowe's, Home Depot, uh, anywhere like that. Before we go up here, we poured a new concrete base, uh, about four and a half, four and a half. So when you come down, uh, you've got a three-foot landing to step onto. As you come up the stairs, uh, we've built this about three and a half foot wide, give us a little extra room than the minimum requirement, make it easier and uh, just a little more room. You can see we've used uh, two by four treads with two by six risers to close all that up. All this deck is clear cedar with Australian timber oil, the mahogany flame color. You can see what we did underneath here. Uh, we tied the stair treads into the existing deck. Up here you can see our handrail detail. Um, this cap piece, top piece, we've used all stainless steel screws. We used a wood plug on the top to uh, finish off that detail we didn't want any exposed hardware that kind of gets us into the rest of the deck this is all clear cedar done with uh, tiger claw um, tiger claws hidden fasteners you can get those from home depot or directly from the retailer on the east coast somewhere uh, but home depot carries them so we got them from there view of Lake Washington here in Seattle, Washington. Uh, overall you can see this deck. Um, it's about 350 square feet or so. And uh, just to give you a close-up of the finished product. She's all done. Um, anyhow again all this is uh, clear cedar, hidden fasteners, uh, everything was galvanized or stainless steel should last longer than the house so anyhow let me know what you think give me comments or complaints uh, thanks for watching